So what I want to talk about in this video is how do you manage American Fabric on a whole business level? If you're running a business and you've got 5,000 hives, um, how do you keep it in check? How do you eradicate it? So the very first thing, if you're running a business, you must know is how many AFB hives are found each year. So beekeepers have to be keeping good records. Not only do they have to report it, they, you'd, if I was running a business, I'd want it reported to me as well as, as to the management agency. So if there's zero, I no, you don't find any AFB, that's great, but I'll come back to the point in a minute. If it's stable, i.e. every year you find the, about the same number of AFB hives each year, that's okay, but it's a continued cost to your business. And you should know exactly how much AFB is costing you. There's the inspections that have to be done. It's a cost. There's the restrictions you have on swapping gear. Then there's the cost of having to kill a hive, come back to a site, kill it, pick it up, take it away, which is another big cost. And then you've got the lost productivity of that hive. Okay, and whatever boxes of honey, if it's manuka, then one AFB hive is costing you a huge amount of money. Running a business, you need to know that. It tells you what, how much energy and effort you have to put into trying to eradicate AFB. If it's increasing, that's a major business risk because we've had situations where we've gone and had to burn a thousand hives before today of a business, completely putting it out of a business. And for some of them, it's not just the business that's gone, it's the mortgage on the house, it's the house, it's the marriage. It's, it can be an AFB problem out of control for a business can be a major problem. If it's decreasing, then that's great as well. You're heading in the right direction and you hope at some stage that it will disappear completely and your only expense is making sure that it doesn't come back again. But these figures are fine if you're running a business and there's certain things you need to do with each one, but how do you know if they're right? How do you know if the beekeepers that you employ are finding all the AFB there and destroying it? Two things that any business must do and and the first one is get some independent audits. Get somebody else to do some of the inspections just to make sure when your beekeepers say there isn't any AFB that there is in fact not 20% AFB out there that you just don't know about. Well, you will find out sooner or later and it's going to be a disaster when you do find out. Independent ins inspections. The or the second one, get some samples tested. Get beekeepers to take samples of some apiaries and get it tested with PCR. That again will tell you whether your team that are working with you are doing a good job around AFB control or not. But just relying on them to do all of these things and not checking up, it's really not good management and it can lead to disaster, unfortunately. So how do you make a change? What are the things you can do? If your disease level is increasing, um, staff training's the biggie. And we kind of forget that people forget. When I'm giving lectures to kefir growers, for instance, I come back the next year and think, oh, well, they know what I said this year, so I'll just add on to it. Well, half the people don't even remember coming to the lecture, let alone what I said. And if you're lucky, there might be 10% who remember one thing you said. So training has to be ongoing every year. Um, either you do it in the business or you get somebody else in to do it for you around American Fowl Brood. Another important thing is, so you can audit your staff, is to get a, a felt pen, give everybody a felt pen. So when they do an AFB inspection, they write their initials on the lid. Then if you find AFB, you can work out who missed it during the inspection and give that person some more training. Um, otherwise you find AFB and you don't have no idea who did the inspection and whether they got right or wrong. The next thing you can change is, if, and particularly if you find AFB levels are increasing or stable and costing you a lot of money, it's increased the frequency of inspections. Do it more often. You're more likely to pick up AFB hives and the last one, and the biggie, is you can put controls on the amount of stuff that's taken out of one hive and put it in, in the next hive. And all of those things will help. So in summary, if you're running a business, you need to know what your incidence of AFB is and what it's costing you. You need to do some auditing to check that what you think your AFB level is, it actually is. And the last thing is, there's lots of things you can change if you've got a, if it's costing a lot of money and mainly around education and auditing and do all that right and you can eradicate AFB completely.